After defeating Sacred Heart 6-3 on October 3rd, the Yukon men's hockey team looked to begin their hockey's play with a win against number 10, Boston University. It was an intense and physical start to a contest between two teams that simply do not like each other. The puck was equally distributed between both sides in the opening stages of the match, with either team combining to create goal-scoring opportunities. UConn's attacking play would prove superior as, five minutes into the contest, forwards Johnny Evans and Jakim Kondalik found fellow forward Vladislav Fristov, who snuck it past Terrier goaltender Drew Camesso to score the opener. The goal would not affect Boston's morale as their attack continued to cause problems for the UConn defense. Husky goaltender Daniel Hansen had to make himself big to prevent what would have been certain goals for the Terriers. The intensity from the first period permeated into the second, but both teams found it difficult to turn that intensity into momentum and take control of the match. Both squads had moments of brilliance in attack, but failed to be consistently efficient throughout the entirety of the half. When Boston were effective, Hanson was able to stifle them and keep the puck out of the net, much of the frustration of the Bostonian forwards. Entering the third period, it would be more of the same, as Hanson made a total of three saves, including one double save, in the opening five minutes of the match. However, the Yukon goaltender would prove fallible as, in the 14th minute, Terrier defender Dominic Fensor found forward Sam Stevens, who slapped it past Hansen to get the Terriers on the board. The Terriers would then get a power play in the 15th minute, which they were able to take advantage of. Forward Ethan Phillips and defender Case McCarthy combined to find forward Robert Mastro Simone, who slapped it into the bottom left corner to win it for the Terriers and complete what can only be described as two minutes of doom for a fatigued Husky side. Head coach Mike Kavanaugh gave a synopsis of the contest after the match. Yeah, I thought our team played uh, really well for 55 minutes. We managed the puck pretty well. We competed hard. And when they tied it up, I thought well, then we kind of sat back and we still had to keep playing and you got to be mentally strong and you have five minutes to win a game. And we took an unfortunate penalty and uh, they capitalized on the power play. And uh, that was the game. UConn will complete their home and home series against the Terriers tomorrow, Saturday, October 9th at the Agonis Arena in Boston. Mike Cavanaugh's men will look to build some momentum before a tough two-game series against Ohio State in Columbus. From the XL Center, my name is Sebastian Gray Ortega, UC TV Sports.